Hey guys, it's me, Cory, and today I'm going to teach you some pathfinding skills. So, here we have two rigs that I have gotten from the plugin known as Animations, created by Roblox themselves. And, uh, I have two characters here. One's named Burrito. I'm guessing you can figure out which one is going to be eaten. If you... If you haven't found out yet, it's the guy that's highlighted. That. And who's going to be the zombie? So first, let's make Cardio look like a zombie. There, that looks like an old, old Roblox zombie right there. And Burrito is going to look like a noob. Okay, there, now we have our two characters set. We have Burrito, which is definitely almost 100% not a noob. And we have Cario, which is definitely a zombie. There's no two ways around it. So, the first thing we gotta do is we have to build a maze. Definitely not look it up in the toolbox. And, uh... We're going to uh, place Burrito in the center of uh, this maze or something. Cardio over here realizes that if he just uses the move to function, he will not be able to get his balanced, you know, nutrition for the day. So. What does he do? He makes a script that is pathfinding, of course. So, I'm going to make a script inside Cardio, and, uh... Our first line is going to be while, wait, double parenthesis, do. This defaults to the lowest wait time, and uh, our next line will be local path equals game get service path find uh, path finding service. Compute, ah, compute, it doesn't compute, raw, path, async, and then we're going to have two variables, so we can go ahead and start the end one, which is 512, that's the maximum distance that you're able to path find. You can set that to like 200 if you only want your zombies to chase people to a certain amount. And then you can make it so that if the zombie can't find the person, then it just uh, lights out and it respawns or something. And uh, we are going to make this... Uh, we're going to make this cardio's torso position. So script.parent that torso that position and he's going to burrito so workspace dot burrito dot torso dot position and uh, basically what this will do is it will compute the path and uh, we're going to make a function here if path dot status equals enumerated dot path status dot success then and then else 
and our else function is just going to be a uh, standard move to script parent dot humanoid move to uh, workspace dot burrito dot torso dot position and local points equals path get point coordinates okay so basically this just gets the point coordinates and uh, it puts them on a table if number points is less than that of three then in another else function and uh, before the else function we're actually going to put this little move to script into the first column because it's less than points and if the number of points is less than three our next order of business would be to take our humanoid and move it to the next point that is three so like this script parent dot humanoid move to there's that also oh familiar move to points and that's three so we have a three here and a three here so if it's less than three and there is no three then it just moves to the torso of burrito otherwise it just it will, it will find him okay <laughs> trust me it just works that's yeah you can't refute uh anyway this should work Oops, I hit play by accident. Hold on. Come on, cardio. Okay, so um, <laughs> since the maze didn't quite work, uh, we're going to have to use the harbinger of uh, dead memes here. So um, as you can see, I'm using the right script. I'm not duking you guys. The uh issue with the maze was that the uh the walls were too close in on each other and if you have corridors that are just super duper tight then your zombie or whatever will not be able to reach the uh destination so uh this time it will work and i will show you guys so yeah, how about it Yes. So uh, there you go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this one actually kind of vexed me for a little bit. I this is like one of the last things I learned because I actually didn't know how to pathfind until quite recently. But uh, here you go, and I'll see you later. Bye.